I am Anil Kumar and now let us get ready for trigonometric identities. So we are going to do some identities with compound angle. So to begin with, I have taken very simple examples, but they will help you to understand the techniques which we should be using for solving such questions or proving identities. So go through them very carefully. Now if you have a question like this, which is cos to the power of 4x minus sine to the power of 4x equals to cos square x minus sine square x, the strategy is to use a square minus b square equals to a plus b times a minus b formula, the difference of squares formula. Always in such terms, this is going to help you. So we'll apply this formula here and see how to prove this identity. Now, always proving identity start from one side. So let's begin with the left side. Left side for us is cos to the power of 4x minus sine to the power of 4x. I can write this left side as applying this formula cos square x plus sine square x times cos square x minus sine square x, correct? Now we know cos square x plus sine square x is 1, right? So therefore, we are left with 1 times cos square x minus sine square x, perfect? And that is equal to the right side. So once you prove that left side is right side, we know that the identity is true for all values of x and therefore it has been proven, right? Now, at times, you will have questions in your book or even in the test paper where we will extend this. You know, cos square x minus sine square x can be written as, so let me write down on the right side. So, we know that cos square x minus sine square x can be written as cos 2x, right? So, in this identity, instead of asking that, I could have placed cos 2x here. It is still an identity. Another important thing which you know is that cos 2x can also be written as 1 minus 2 sine square x or 2 cos square x minus 1. So based on this identity, I could give you on the right side any of these terms. Now that is why my videos are very important. I'm trying to link one question with at least five questions in your book. And if you follow these strategies, you can do first 20 questions within no time, right? Now let's look into the next one. We have cos square x plus tan square x times cos square x equals to 1. Now in this, we will use factoring techniques, right? Simple. Cos square x is a common factor. So we'll again begin by left side. Left side is equal to, we'll factor cos square x. Okay, what are we left with? 1 plus tan square x. Now what is 1 plus tan square x? 1 plus tan square x is secant square x, right? Perfect. Now, cos square x and secant square x, when you multiply, what do you get? You get 1, right? But let me go one more step here to make it absolutely clear. That is how. Secant square x is 1 over cos square x. Now, they cancel out and c equals to 1, which is equals to right side. So, in proving identities, you have to start from one side and to the other. There are few exceptional cases when the identities are very complicated. In those cases, you could use both the sides, correct? Now, for any identity, you'll also notice that we have more than one method to apply, correct? For example, here itself, we could use alternate method to prove, and that is also a good strategy. Let's again begin with left side, and the alternate method is always write tan as ratio of sine and cosine. So what do we get? We get cos square x plus, I'm writing tan as sine square x divided by cos square x. Then we have here cos square x, correct? That is the left side. So what I've done here is, 
I am trying to prove this is an alternate method. So let me write method 2. Okay. So, and this is also a good strategy. Factoring is one strategy. The other one is break tan as sine over cos. Clearly, from here, you can see that cos square x can be cancelled. And so the left side now becomes cos square x plus sine square x, right? Which you know is 1. And that is the right side. So these are Pythagorean identities we have used in this question, right? So remember Pythagorean identities. Correct. So we have one here, cos square x plus sine square x equals to 1. The other one we used here, 1 plus tan square x is secant square x. And one more you should remember is 1 plus cot square x is equals to cosecant square x, right? So these are the three identities. Let me number them. So 1, right? So this one will say 2. And then this one we will say 3, correct? So in this very first video on trigonometric identities, what you have learned is almost half of the strategies which you should be applying or which you can apply to prove trigonometric identities. They are difference of squares factoring, common factoring, Pythagorean identities, writing tan as sine over cos. I hope it really helps you to go forward in this chapter. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and actually enjoy watching 100, at least 100 trigonometric identities solved. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.